all right welcome back and i failed quite a bit so i forgot to create a mask here for the dirt on the interior i mean if we look through our mask here you can see the dirt is also here in, in the interior of our glass parts and i simply fixed that with grabbing here the isolation mask screened them together and also a bit of hand painting so i got this mask here and just multiplied it together with this one to get rid of that interior dirt and i also forgot to export an isolation mask for the eyes because they we had there we have some trans and uh, trans emission going on so i simply did the same as for the isolation mask for the glass so they are here and i exported that so at this point sorry for that that i forgot that but yeah fixing stuff is part of the game and it's nothing which you have to be ashamed about so it's just normal we are humans so i exported all the textures and i did a very basic maya setup here which you can find in the project files as well so let's go quickly through it so i have here my base shader and here is my glass shader and as you can see here are all the maps which are piped in and here are a few or not a few just a color correct note for the emission color to give them a bit more a glowy look here and here i graded with a ramp node a bit the roughness on the glass part this goes into a mix shader node and same technique as in Mari. I have my mask stuff over the merge stuff, over the merge nodes to mask it out. So we have here our two material setup and this finally goes onto our robot. And here you can see the final result. So we can go quickly through the AOV so you can see what's going on. So here is just a diffuse, so you can see here the, the little leaks we added, and here's just a GI. And here on the specular you can see what I mean with this, this little bumpy color bumps here on the surface. And this adds the, the realism to it, so that's it, it's a very nice small detail, which brings in the end here, you can see it uh, very well. So this, this this kind of not a perfect flat surface which you can't find in the real world and here as well a small elevation you can push it harder if you want to see it a bit more prominent you can push it harder in Mari that's not a problem that's really up to you how how you want to create your shader here you can also see it a bit it's it's a bit brighter here on the side I hope it comes through the video that's that's the small amount of of details which creates the photorealism in the end. Here you can see it, it's it's a bit bumpy. Here you can see it as well. So that's that's the photorealism in the end. Even if it's more of a stylized asset kind of here. But I think you got what I what I try to say here. And yeah you can you can go super crazy with your textures. You can create a super damaged one, you can create a super clean one that's really up to you. The techniques are always the same, which I have uh, showed you in the in the whole series. And that's basically it. I just will create one more video with some useful tips on tools where I have a quick look on different um, settings in Mari. And so I definitely recommend to watch the last video and I hope you enjoy it this tutorial series so far and i hope you learned a bit how to work with mari and the workflow with it and yeah i wish you bye bye